Oh, what a happy day it is today uh, in my household, at least for me. Uh, number one, it's Friday. Number two, it's my birthday today. Um, and I'm gonna, in a couple hours, uh, leave my house to go have a steak, nice good steak dinner with a couple of friends of mine, my wife. And, uh, but the thing I was looking really forward the most um, was something that should have happened last week. I ordered a new saxophone and um, I wanted to um, unbox it here today, but it got delayed or something weird happened with the shipping. Anyway, it showed up today um, on my birthday. So without further ado, um, here's my new horn. Now, I wanted it to be like a real unboxing, but in all honesty, the box was in terrible shape. So let me go grab it. All I did was take it out of the box. And it's right here. This thing's huge. You see what it is? So I wanted to kind of do this with you guys, so. My new horn. Haven't seen it yet. But uh I don't think anything's in here. That's the storage. But um Nothing really came in the box. The only thing that came other than the case was a uh a strap for the for the uh for the case. It has, um, like if you wanted to, you know, put this on your shoulder and carry it, but, um, anyway, it's a nice good case. Let's see what's inside. I'm actually pretty excited because I haven't seen this one yet. Oh, wow. <laughs> See what's going on here. Oh, and some plastic. Oh, it has some like little restraints. Oh, the the lacquer is a nice color lacquer. It looks almost like a like those pre Jubilee Selmers. Look at that. Oh, yeah, some things are corked up, but I have some engraving right here. I'm going to take the key corks out, see how it is. Move the camera back here a little bit. Not to where it was. So. Ooh, I'm excited. Bass saxophone. If you can't tell what it is yet, let's get a little more of the. Beautiful. Love it. So I've been really wanting to get one of these for a long time. And uh, now I have one. And now the thing with this is like Selmer, Selmer bases are fantastically expensive. So 
Sorry, bear with me while I'm trying to get this key cork out of here. Thing seems to be moving pretty good. I was a little, uh, I was a little hesitant, not hesitant, but afraid of how what shipping was going to do to this horn, but seems to have arrived in pretty good condition. Oh, come on. Yeah, one cork left. Is that one of the F key foot down there? Oh, here we go. There we go. So, for those of you who aren't really familiar with bass saxophone. It's pitched one octave below the tenor and it's more of a color instrument rather than a than a true like low horn. I mean it is it mean I mean it is low. It goes it's keyed down to low B flat which is a low concert A flat which is only about, which is only a minor third lower than a berry can go, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. I'm not going to play it right now because, to be honest with you, I just got the, a mouthpiece in from my friends over at Van Doren, who hooked me up, um, and uh, I haven't gotten reads yet for it, so. Um, I'm looking forward to, you know, getting some reads in, but really the only difference between the bass saxophone and the berry sax mouth, uh, the bass sax and the berry sax mouthpiece is the inner dimensions, like the outer dimensions are pretty, uh, pretty much the same. Cool, man. So, anyway, so that's the horn, has a stopper here for the neck. The brand is called Levante, but it's really just like a. Let's just be. It is what it is. It's a. It's a. It's a Chinese copy of a Selmer. There was no way I was ever going to be able to to get to afford uh, twenty five thousand, twenty seven thousand dollars for a Selmer um, very sa or sorry bass saxophone, and I'm not sure I would spend that if I had the money, um, but. I'm anxious to see how it stacks up against the Selmer. I do have access to a Selmer uh, bass saxophone. You've seen me play one in one of my videos. I played the Fairling Etude number one um, on that bass saxophone. Plays really well, but um, I wanted to see how this one plays. If it absolutely sucks, I'll just send it back. But I think it's going to be just fine. I think it's going to be just fine. Um, so, see what else came in here. A lot of. Um, of that <laughs> silica gel, silica, silica gel. Do not eat this. I don't even know what that stuff does. Comes with a big old floor peg, and has uh, spots for those that peg right in there. Um, lots of extra bracing on this saxophone between the neck and uh, and uh, and the body. Lots of extra braces everywhere. Huge brace on the bottom. So, oh, there's one more key cork in here. There we go. There it goes. All right. So, honestly, I'm gonna have my my uh, my tech Tony check this out when he gets back from Bahamas, where he's on vacation right now. So he couldn't come to dinner with me tonight, um, but uh, yeah, I really can't wait to, to get into this horn and to, to see how it plays. Um, I might do it tonight. Hello. <laughs> um, let's see what else it came with. Well, it came with a neck. Good thing, I guess. Big long neck there. Quite. A, looks kind of like a berry neck, but it's 
it's actually lots big, lots longer. There we go. I need to fit that up a little bit better. It's kind of. Came with, uh, looks like it came with some gloves. Uh, and a polishing cloth. Came with an absolutely useless neck strap. I wouldn't even use that with a soprano saxophone. <laughs> That's going straight in the garbage. Oh, came with a mouthpiece too. Probably a Barry, Barry Sax mouthpiece. Is it branded anything? Let's see. Oh, came with a cap too. Doesn't have a brand or anything on it. It's probably some no-name thing. Let's see if it plays. No, oh, whatever. I'll play on it. Give it a whirl. <laughs> Look at this reed. It's completely garbage. <laughs> The vamp is all twisted and everything. But, let's see if this horn plays right out of the box. I don't have high expectations, but you never know. Mouthpiece doesn't really go far on the neck. Bear with me, sorry. Uh. Ugh. Not the highest quality breed mouthpiece ligature combination. Not really sure what I was wanting to expect there, but. That's pretty cool, man. It plays right out of the box. That's cool. On these doesn't really like to speak a whole lot and I can tell right off the bat that that's that's that is the case but to be honest with you it didn't really speak that well on the on the Selmer so not too worried about it and plus I have no idea if like this thing is even on the right spot on the on the neck read mouthpiece and whatever <laughs> see it very well. The uh, bis key right here is actually the same key as the fork F sharp. So they kind of repurpose that. I think they do that on the summer too. What's this over here? Huh. It has a <laughs> it has a liar screw right here, a liar holder. If you ever wanted to march with this thing. Has triple, triple uh, neck strap rings, so you can pick which one I guess that you want. Oh, there's more. Uh... God, there's a lot of key corks on this thing. So get out of there. So 
anyway, so that's all I, I think that's all I'm gonna do right now. Um, and so I'm gonna practice on it a little bit, and then we'll do something for this horn's like real kind of debut. But anyway, I want to just uh, share this little bit of the excitement in my life with you guys. So anyway, have a great day and stay tuned and subscribe to the channel for more of the of the of the bass sax.